Uh, today we'll be learning about uh, the DU path problems in software testing with the code uh, 18IA62. The program has been given. Uh, seeing this program, we'll be writing the DU path and I will be knowing how to solve the problem. This is a program and the question they have asked here is we have to find out the DU paths du paths for the variables total sale total price staff discount price discount and final price for these variables we have to find the du paths okay basically when we are having the du paths paths okay uh, basically what we will do the du path when it comes it will have three things one is your def Second one is your use and third one is path. Okay, where your def is nothing but your definition of variable <coughs> use of variable and the path from du graph okay the question says very simple the question says program example where variable staff discount total price final price discount price third line is staff discount equal to 1 total price equal to 0 input price is equal to uh, price input of price while price not equal to 1 do total price is equal to total price plus price input price do print total price total price and you're having all these quotes okay based on this for these variables we have to identify where it is defined and where it is used okay based on this line of quotes we have created a graph okay this is your program graph okay which says first we are having the first uh, line of code okay which says first program start then we will come to defining the variable second second line third line is uh, giving assigning the staff discount value fourth line is assigning the total price value then input price then we are coming to a while if if price is not equal to minus one if it is if it is true then we'll go for the next line of execution that is 7 which says total price is equal to total price plus price then 8 input price in do and then come back again to while again we will check whether the price is not equal to minus 1 if it is true then we'll come if it is not true then we'll ex for, we'll come out of this loop and we'll directly come to the 10th statement saying that total price is so and so we will print the price then we'll check an again in if loop saying that is the total price greater than 15 if it is greater than 15 then the discount will be the 12th line discount is equal to staff discount into total price plus 0 0.50 if it is not true then we'll go to the 14th line directly saying that discount is equal to the staff discount into total price then uh, both the results will come to the 16th line saying that printing the discount and then we will find out the uh, final uh, price which is equal to total price minus discount so in this graph okay this is your graph du graph now in the program here you can see see staff discount is defined in your line number three correct staff discount is being dis the, uh, dis defined here then total price is defined here along with this total price definition here also your total price is defined correct then here input here price has been defined and here you are having the price not equal to 1 that is this price defined here is come to use here the same way the total price which is defined here can come to use here or the total price defined here will be used in the here or here or here okay 
and even here the total price is used. This count has been defined here and here. This tab discount which is defined here has come into use in line number 12 and line number 14. That is what we have written here saying that see staff discount is defined in uh, the third line and uh, the total discount is defined in fourth line to uh, define price def is defined in fifth line and price is used in sixth line six as well as in seventh line it is used and the total uh, price is again defined in seventh line it is used in seventh line it is uh, taken into your eleventh line also it is used twelfth it is used uh, 13th it is uh, 12th and 14th it is used even in 10th it is used and the final line where it is 17 it is used where is your final price has been defined in your uh, 17th line discount has been defined in 12 and 13 uh, 12 and 14 and uh, it is used in 16 and 17 based on this we are writing here see the du path whenever you write the du path it will have your defined node and in between it will have your uh, path nodes and then the node which has been used the where it is being used till there the du path will be containing the path okay now you can see the du path for price number price for price okay the price here it has been defined in 5 the du path has been defined in 5 here here you can see the input is price so here it has been defined so we are taking the line number 5 as input definition and where it is used it is used in line number 6 as well as line number 7 price has been used so what we have done here see definition of your price is being taken at 5 and it has been used in 6 and 7 so this is your definition and use over enough to write the path for writing the path i will show you how to write since it has been defined in 5 used and use in defined in 5 and use in 6 and 7 we are writing the paths like this okay the path as i already told you the path 1 whenever we are writing a du path we have to use this where it is defined and still where we are where we are using it so where we have defined that uh, path uh, definition for your price price the path starts like this the definition where we have defined is at 5 and after 5 after 5 it will go to 6 and it is used in 6 so 5 comma 6 is your one path and the other path can be like this it is defined at 5 and it is next after 5 your path goes to 6 and then it is again used in 7 so it is 5 comma 6 comma 7 so this will be your path how to write it the same way for your next the total price your definition is at 7 and 4 and it is used at 10 11 and 12 17 and even at 7 for that you will get different different paths like this okay you get around 13 paths wherein you have to define Def defined at 7 okay after 7 what you are having 8 9 and then again i will be going back to 6 10 it is used correct it is defined at 7 8 9 6 and 10 again it is used the same way it is defined at 7 8 9 6 10 and again 11 it is used same way wherever it is used till the last we will be writing the curve okay du path the same way for your final price final price is defined here that's all there is no use for your final uh, price so we are taking it as directly defined at 17 so it is having only one du path next comes is your uh, staff account it has been defined at 3 and used at 12 and 14 okay here again discount defined at 12 defined at 14 and it is used at 16 and 17 we are getting four paths okay basically what we did is we saw the code lines of code and using these lines of code we will see where the variable is defined and where it starts coming using it using in the sense where it is coming to the conditional statements and where we are changing the value where we be due to this variable the other variable value is changing is using it so like this we can calculate your view path first important thing what we have to do is we have to draw this graph once you draw this graph seeing this program it will become easy for us to know where exactly we are using the variable and where exactly we are defining the variable 
with this we'll complete your problem of